Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the field of semiconductor chip manufacturing, lithography machines are called the jewel in the crown of industry. Extreme ultraviolet lithography, EUV, technology is the core of it and has long been monopolized by ASML of the Netherlands. The latest news is that China's extreme ultraviolet, EUV, lithography light source technology, has made a major breakthrough recently. The team from the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has successfully developed LPP EUV light source, which has reached the international leading level. This achievement is of milestone significance for the development of China's semiconductor industry. Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics successfully breaks through the core of EUV technology. On April 29, according to reports from guancha.com, South China Morning Post and other media, a research paper published in the sixth issue of China Laser Magazine this year, late March 2025, stated. The team of Lin Nan, a researcher at the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, achieved a 1 micrometer solid laser to 13.5 nanometers extreme ultraviolet light conversion efficiency of up to 3.42% on the laser-driven plasma extreme ultraviolet, LPPEUV, light source experimental platform they established, and the main focus 13.5 nanometers Extreme ultraviolet single pulse energy exceeded 20 mJ. This result is at the international and domestic leading level, which is of great significance for China to independently carry out EUV lithography and its key devices and technologies. R&D work. EUV, extreme ultraviolet lithography, is the most advanced chip manufacturing technology currently mainly serving chips with a process below 7 nanometers. As chip manufacturing enters the 3 nanometers process, extreme ultraviolet EUV, lithography machines have become indispensable equipment for large-scale mass production and industrialization of high-end chips. Due to the extremely high manufacturing threshold of EUV lithography machines, ASML, is currently the only company in the world that has mastered the relevant technology and is also the only supplier. Therefore, if China wants to obtain EUV lithography machines, it must rely on imports, but since 2019, ASML has been banned by the United States from selling its most advanced models to China. Faced with the US blockade, more and more technical teams in China have begun to develop their own research. It is reported that in EUV lithography machines, laser plasma, LPP, EUV light source is the core component, which mainly focuses on energy conversion efficiency, CE. At present, the commercial driving light source is a carbon dioxide laser, whose excitation conversion efficiency, CE, is greater than 5%, and it is also the driving light source of ASML lithography machines but this type of light source is exclusively supplied by SIMA in the United States and has also become a next duck problem restricting the development of China's semiconductor industry. In order to avoid technical barriers, Chinese scientific research teams have taken a different approach. Lin Nan's team at the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics creatively used solid pulse lasers instead of carbon dioxide lasers as driving light sources to establish a plasma extreme ultraviolet LPPEUV, light source experimental platform based on solid-state laser-driven. On this platform, Lin Nan's team used a 1 micrometer solid laser to achieve a conversion efficiency CE, of up to 3.42%, which exceeded the 3.2% recorded by the Netherlands Advanced Research Center for Nanolithography ARCNL, in 2019 and the 1.8% recorded by the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich in 2021. Although there is still a certain gap compared with the 5.5% conversion efficiency of the EUV light source driven by commercial carbon dioxide lasers, 3.42% has reached more than half of it, 
and the team estimates that the theoretical maximum conversion efficiency of the light source experimental platform may be close to 6%, which can provide technical support for the development of domestic EUV lithography machines. At present, the relevant research paper has been published on the cover of the sixth issue of China Laser magazine this year, March 2025. Lin Nan, Technical Director, From ASML to Domestic EUV Leader On April 29, the South China Morning Post reported on this matter, saying that this research result broke the barriers to the independent production of advanced chips. According to the report, researcher Lin Nan, who was once the head of light source technology at ASML, a Dutch lithography giant, returned to China in 2021 as part of the National Overseas High-Level Talent Introduction Plan and established an advanced lithography technology research group responsible for the paper. According to the official website of the University of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Lin Nan is currently a researcher, doctoral supervisor, and deputy director of the National Key Laboratory of Ultra-Strong Laser Science and Technology at the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Precision Mechanics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Lin Nan studied under an El Huiye, the 2023 Nobel Prize winner in physics and a member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. In 2021, he returned to the Chinese Academy of Sciences full-time to set up an advanced lithography technology research group with two major directions, extreme ultraviolet light source and chip quantity detection. He built an extreme ultraviolet light source research and development platform, broke through the new mechanism of laser plasma generation, and now has achieved a conversion efficiency of up to 52.5% for 10 to 20 nanometers extreme ultraviolet wide spectrum measurement light source, reaching the world's leading level. Achieved a solid laser driven 13.5 nanometers extreme ultraviolet lithography light source conversion efficiency of 3.42%, 2% bandwidth, 2 pi solid angle, reaching the international advanced and domestic leading level. It is worth noting that in a speech earlier this month, ASML CEO Christoph Fouquet said in an investor conference call on April 16, it is always possible to generate some EUV light, but it would take many, many years for China to make an EUV machine. It is possible for China to produce some EUV light sources, but it will take many, many years for China to produce EUV machines. On March 5th, local time, ASML released its 2024 annual report showing that mainland China is ASML's largest market. In 2024, ASML's net sales reached 28.263 billion euros, currently about 221.226 billion yuan, an increase of about 2.6% year-on-year compared with 27.556 billion euros in 2023. Among them, the revenue from mainland China was 10.195 billion euros, currently about 79.8 billion yuan, accounting for about 36.1% of the total revenue, the largest share of revenue. This time, the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics took a different approach and achieved a breakthrough with a different technical path. It is not only a victory at the technical level, but also a sign of China's struggle for discourse power in the global semiconductor industry. Although the road ahead is still long, This achievement also proves that Chinese researchers have the ability to achieve original breakthroughs from zero to one in the most cutting-edge fields.